this video, we're going to show you how to use if statements, VLOOKUPs, match and index to model a fairly complex sales incentive plan. So most sales incentive plans will pay you more money the more you sell. Well, that's pretty obvious. But suppose you also want your sales force to be accurate in their forecasting. Well, the following type of sales incentive plan will ensure that people are fairly accurate in their forecasting. So basically, we have the salesperson pick an objective, either 2.5 million, 2.75 million, through 3.5 million for their sales. And then based on what they actually achieve, their commission in hundreds of dollars is set here. Okay. Now, the thing you want to notice here is, okay, if your objective is 2.5 million and you only sell 2.5 million, you get an incentive of 29.300. Okay. But if your incentive was really high at 3.5 million and you sell 2.5 million, you're basically your commission is really low, okay? Because you were inaccurate in your forecasting. Now, conversely, if you set a low goal and you sell a ton, here you make $51.200, okay? But if you'd set a high goal and you sell a ton, you make much more, $70.600. So you can see that this plan basically incentivizes you A to sell more and B to forecast accurately. So looking at some examples of how our formula should work, in other words, we're going to pick a chosen objective, maybe it's three million. And then we want to get in for any achieved margin, we want to figure it round it off, because we're going to assume we round down. If you make two point seven six million, you basically are paid off as if you made two point seven five million, because you didn't make three million. And then we'll get the actual payout. Okay. So we may never make 2.5 million. That's where we need the if statement. If we don't, if we make less than 2.5 million, then ba uh, then basically, it's it's basically going to pay a zero in incentive. So here's some examples. If our chosen objective is three million and the achieved margin is 3.2 million, that rounds down to three. We'd make 37.7. If okay, we had chosen objective of three million and we make 2.76 million, it rounds down to 2.75 we make 24.6 in hundreds. Okay, now let's look at those same achieved margins, but a lower forecast. So if I forecast really low and I make 2.76 million, it rounds down here, I get 26.6. Now that's better than I would have gotten if I forecasted too high. But suppose I do really well, I saw 3.2 million, I predicted 2.5. Well, then I get 32, which is worse than I would have gotten if I predicted three. So you have to try and be accurate and you also have to try and sell a lot. Well, so we have the chosen objective, and then suppose the achieved margin, let's suppose it was 3.2, like we said here. Okay, then we got to round that achieved margin off, so I'm going to use a lookup there. So it can go 0, 2.5, these breakpoints, select these all, go through uh, these two here, and it should go to 3.5, I guess. So 0 to 2.5 rounds to 0, so this is the actual and this is rounded 2.5 to 2.75 rounds to 2.5. This rounds to 2.75 between 2.75 and 3. 3 to 3.25 rounds to 3. 3.25 to 3.5 rounds to 3.25. Anything 3.5 or above rounds there. Okay, so now I can get the rounded achieved margin and then I can do an index match. In other words, I have the objective that gives the row. I have the rounded achieved margin, that gives the column, and if basically we get the zero here, we get no commission at all. Okay, so I can do a VLOOKUP here based on the achieved margin, comma to when we really want that word true, we could leave it out. So I make 3.2 million, I round to three. If I make 2.999, okay, I round to 2.75. That's just the way it works, okay. Okay, now the actual payout, if the rounded amount is zero, I'm going to get nothing. Otherwise, I'm going to do an index, okay? It's going to be on this range. Okay, first thing I would do, which row? I would match, the row is determined by matching the chosen objective. The column is basically found by matching the rounded achieved margin. Okay, now 
then I need one more parenthesis. Yeah. Okay. The reason I need one more parenthesis is, okay, I needed one here to close the index, one to close the match, and one to close the if. Okay. So let's see if this works. Okay. So 3 million objective achieved 3.2 million. We make, uh, we want this to be multiplied by 100 because it's in hundreds. We probably want that to be currency. Okay, so now if the achieved margin was 2.76, what would happen? We would make 2460. Now, if I change the objective to 2.5, I make 2660. Okay, but if the achieved margin was 3.2, I make 3200. That works out. And if the achieved objective in, in basically millions was 2.4, I make nothing. So it looks like we've got this right. Well, let's try one more here. Let's suppose the chosen objective is 3.25 and I make 3.26. Well, then I hit it right on the button, okay? So I would make 57.20. So that's how we can use what we've learned about VLOOKUP, match index, and if statements to model a fairly complicated sales incentive plan. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book which is here, and with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.